Hey everybody, how you doing? This is AJ from Padia Thailand, your local newbie tips, tricks, advice, and tourist general information expert. This week I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about the religious or Buddha day holidays that they have here in Thailand, as well as some of the alcohol control laws and other holidays throughout the year. So as some of you may know, but many of you may not, this weekend from the from the 8th and the 9th until Monday the 10th, when things open up again, will be two religious holidays in a row. These are known in Thailand as Buddha Days. There's about five of them a year now. Sometimes they may enforce other holidays. And you can always find them if you Google Closure Days Thailand. There's a website, ironically, called BoomBoomMe.com. But if you go ahead and you type Boom Boom Me Closure Days Thailand, that is the most viewed part of their website and gives you a very detailed and consistently updated website as to what days will be a closure day. So somebody coming on holiday, why would you want to look at this? Why do you want to know? Well, all week long I've been talking to people on the ground who are surprised that this Saturday and Sunday, really from midnight, this Friday night at midnight until midnight on Sunday is a Buddha religious period. What this means is that all alcohol sales are forbidden. As a result, pretty much every bar, nightclub, disco, go-go, the nightlife basically, is closed for that period of time. Now the restaurants are open, the hotels are open, the movies, the bowling alleys, the water parks, Ripley's Believe It or Not, the beaches, the tours, plenty of other stuff to do. Tons actually. But if your holiday is primarily revolving around going to bars, going to nightclubs, going to go-go's, staying out to five in the morning, getting shit-faced, you may want to consider when you book your trips and what's going on for it. Um, it is actually not illegal to go ahead and consume alcohol on the Buddha days. In fact, you'll often see people just chilling down on the beach drinking alcohol. But all sales are forbidden. That includes 7-Eleven out of respect for the religious holiday. In another video, I'll get more into what the Thais actually do to celebrate these days, such as go to the temples. But this is more for actual tourists and to give tourists an idea of what you'll face on these periods of time on a Buddha holiday. So short, simple, sweet. Uh, in retrospect, go ahead and Google closure days before you come. Be aware of them. There's only a few of them a year. These two in a row is the longest period for every single year. And have a safe and happy holiday. Take care, guys. See you next week.